Hi and welcome back to today's more important chart appraisals for Thursday the 11th of September with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets. Move on to cable now and occasionally I get begin to get excited about these uh, FX charts because at the moment they, they've been fairly strongly to the downside but look at this formation we've got here. In terms of technicals this is beginning to get very interesting because you've got this gap down that we had on Monday from the uh, over over the weekend uh, news of the uh, poll results that uh, suggested that the Scottish independence was poss was increasingly likely actually and yet now we've seen a sharp move to the downside on Monday a doji and then a sharp move to the upside and in technical analysis that three trading session pattern is called an evening uh, sorry a morning doji star um, not perfect because uh, the the low of yesterday was slightly below the uh, the, the low of um, Tuesday. However, certainly there is something in this, and this gap here that we've got that um, is still at uh, 62.82 is still open, and that needs to be filled. And I think that this is moving now to the upside. I think that uh, cable is showing certainly signs of a recovery. If you look now on this uh, on this intraday chart, you'll see this rounding, you could argue, basing pattern. Um, arguably, 61.57 break above there sort of gives you uh, an upside target of the of the mid 6200s. So that is where we're moving up to at the moment. So um, it just looks like we're going to be retracing this move to fill this gap. Now, filling a gap and closing a gap are two entirely different things. If cable um, closes the gap, it's basically where the the, the trading um, the trading day on an intraday basis m moves to uh, trade above that 62.82 point, but then closes below 62.82. That is considered to be a fairly um, a fairly weak signal, disappointing and bearish. However, if it fills the gap, whereby on an intraday basis it um, moves above 62. 62.82 and then closes above 62.82 that is considered to be a bullish sign and uh, certainly filling a uh, a uh, an exhaustion gap which I think this could be that is a bullish signal so we could be on the brink of a, a recovery in cable and I think it's beginning to build very nicely now so I'd be backing this in terms of that and um, I'd be looking to use any sort of intraday uh, dips towards where would we be on the intraday chart if it comes up uh, any dips towards that sort of area around 62 figure probably as a chance to buy now on cable because I think this is looking like it's uh, beginning to recover quite nicely. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on cable today and I will speak to you later.